If you do this often, I don't know, do you walk? No. <laughs> just with the kids? I did, I did have Luke, my two-year-old, in my arm last summer, and a guy was fishing, and uh, he caught a pike that was about this big. First pike I've ever seen in real life. I used to watch a lot of fishing shows as kids, but we don't have pike in Nova Scotia. It's a and big pike for a oh, little river like this. It was eh? huge, wow. it was huge. So, it was so big, he couldn't land it. Uh, couldn't pull it up, so he just kept biting it for five minutes, and then eventually the hook came out and he took <laughs> off. It's my birthday today. Yep, 36. I feel uh. I feel that I, I want to say 40 because I feel so good that I want people to be like, wow, you're 40? Um, I'm feeling so good that I don't, it, it doesn't matter what age I say. Yeah, time flies when, when things are going well. And uh, uh, you know, after, even after t 2012, I was very pleased with my Olympic experience. Like it, it went well. Um, but I had some mechanical issues that I just went in the fall that I, I needed to sort out and I didn't really have the energy I found after the whole Olympic build up to sort those out so um, it certainly wasn't as bad as 2008 but I definitely had a, a little funk after 2012 just the energy level to get back to that um, that day in day out proper place where you need to be to get in quality quality training. 2013 is probably when I started to uh, really get into um, following the, the great advice that I was getting from Brenda Scott Thomas, my physio, and like good form running. Uh, and uh, once I got interested in that and seeing the benefits of that, um, that gave me another uh, another surge of, of, of uh, just energy. And it's a great distraction, you know, to be able to go out there and focus on form on an easy run uh, as opposed to just trying to check off a box and get in that training and, uh, but become trying to master something as opposed to just um, just doing it. Kids are like anything um, th there's highs and lows um, but you can't have the highs without you know without the lows and they all, it all evens out it's kind of like the special moments with running, the special moments with the kids. You just have to really absorb those and enjoy them and just feel lucky for them uh, in the moment. They like that I'm a runner, but they don't always like that I'm going out for a run at supper time, you know, with the times that I do. They don't like, they're like, why do you have to go for a run right now? Are you coming to the market? You're doing a long run. All right, have a good long run. <laughs> But I try and mix that up, you know. Uh, my wife was on call a couple weekends ago and I took them to the market and uh, we really enjoyed that walk and that time at the market. Uh, when you're in a structured um, place and you're, um, you're feeling comfortable in that routine, um, it does great things for your running. But just because you're a runner doesn't mean that you're going to be structured. So when I was younger and I wanted to run full time and just run, and I thought if I do that, then that'll force me to be uh, to be going to bed early. That'll force me to be in good routines, eating really healthy, and you know. But it was it was too much pressure, and it wasn't running wasn't strong enough to to actually uh, you know get me in those routines. And so having kids, sure it's more busy uh, than before, but uh, it's a good busy. You know, it's a, it's a more structured, um, it's a, you know, it's, it's, it feels good putting other people ahead of yourself when you're not naturally inclined to do that. <laughs> so kids force you to put yeah, other people in, ahead of yourself and do things. So if I have to miss an afternoon run because my daughter came home from school or couldn't find daycare for her. I mean, I'm not gonna leave her at home by herself, so there, and she needs somebody there, you know, and I'm that person, so. Just, and then you, once you get, once I get into that and release myself, um, time flies and I don't think about the, the missed afternoon run that, uh, and 
uh, and then I just I'm just about setting up the next day for success. So um, so I put that run miss run behind me. I have the good vibes of spending you know a couple hours with my daughter and the fun things we did. Uh, go to bed uh, happy, wake up ready to get those two runs in the next day. Um, not make up for them, but get in the the proper training the next day and feel energized for it and happy. So Rio is, is, it's a good shot, but it's not a guarantee. I still have to uh, be officially selected, and that'll be hopefully at the end of May, I'll know. Uh, and, um, you know, but what, I, what I've, what i for the most part, what I can control, I've, I did. I hit the time that, uh, that I was hoping to in uh, Toronto last fall, and uh, I'm in great shape right now, enjoying training, healthy, uh, looking forward to some spring road races. Just generally feeling positive about uh, um, where I'm at and in, in, in running and in life at 30, 36. And done.